Welcome back. This is Roberto Lionheart at Lionheart Lodge. We're back with more Backpack Hero. And today, we're going to head out with Purse. And we're going to see if we can handle this uh, boss, extra boss, that gave us an issue last time. Uh, I mean, we have all her completed ones. We have no extra quest with her. So we're just going to do standard run and probably grab an item set from him. Get an item set. Let's see what we can run with. Interesting. So he wants us to go spikes and block. I mean, I guess we can find out, right? Let's see what we can manage. Let's head to the Bramble. I feel like we have a lot more control than last time without that core. So I, you know, let's give it a shot. Standard run against Mr. Rude Rooster first. Alright. So this guy's gonna restore 7 health to who, uh, to both of them. And he has a dodge. If we do 3 swings, it deals 21. Not enough to kill him. And he's gonna do some uh, damage to us. So we have to do 1 block. And then we can swing twice and he'll heal one of those. Not ideal, but it is, you know, we can manage. So this is seven block each time. Which means that's what we're doing. In order to take zero damage. <laughs> huh. so now he's going to heal and he's going to run away. Which means we just go all in on the offense. We can block twice and swing once. We're not going to reorganize for the old coins. <laughs> He's only healing, so we're killing. Okay. Sometimes a nice standard run is good to get, uh, kind of refresh, refresh yourself after going through all the interesting but different other characters, right? Actually, if we do that, we can take that instead of a mana core that's not going to do anything for us. Okay. Unknown event. What are you trading? Nothing yet. We don't have a curse, so I don't care. Okay, he's a coward. We got rid of him first, which means we're going to have to manage some burn. We can do that. Let's swing with both of those. I know we're adding to his rage. But this is 9, plus that 4 is 13, so so far we're okay. Although he is gonna. I think he adds to it with spikes, so then it'll be 10 or 14. At any rate, that means we're putting a little damage into him instead. Okay, so spikes do not add to his rage. But, he is still, they're both, they both want to kill us this turn, and that's not good. So if we kill one of, if we kill him, we're going to still have 11 damage incoming, right? Which we could mitigate 7 of, so we, either we can take 4 damage, nope, plus 3 from the burn. Yeah, that's not going to happen. So that's 22, 25, and max we can block is 21, so either way we're taking 4 damage. Lovely. Alright. That's the max we take. So we're good. Okay, I see two items immediately that catch my eye. This one, and this one. Uh, if we can get... Get back in there. 
If we can get some bonuses going with this, such as burn and, and whatnot, then that's good. But I think in this case I'd rather poison. Uh, well, no, burn was doing fine. I don't think we need that. Let's take this. Well, this is 10 to all enemies. This is a total of 24 with three uses, depending on how many enemies we have. It's lots better, but we'll take we'll we'll do it this way. Trading. Yeah, none of that. Okay, he's a little obnoxious, but this one is completely obnoxious. So now we can use two energy to get rid of him, and one to block what he's going to deal. Very good. And now he's just dead. So this is adding seven block, this adds eight block. Same energy cost, half the footprint. I like it being right side up though. It really doesn't matter how these are all placed. I'm just being silly. Uh, let's see here. Dealing damage seems great. Poison isn't a bad thing to put on an enemy. This dealing 7 damage and this dealing 7 damage. It's the same. This takes up less space and opens us up to arrows should we find some good ones. So let's go for the flexibility. I'm not going to say no to extra free damage. That, that would be foolish. Okay. I mean... May as well take him, because it's all for us. And at this point... Well, this one could be useful, whereas that one... See, that one is not what we're running with, so it's less useful. Better item of the same type. Oh, hang on. Plant or accessory. We're gonna do it. Yeah, I knew I shouldn't have done that. <laughs> Oh well. Put this back in there. Pull this one back out. Well, now our thorns are less. It wasn't a whole lot of thorns in the first place, but, you know, I feel a little bad. He gave us thorns to start with, and then we didn't. <laughs> uh, hmm. How's our bag space? Eh, we have plenty. Let's see what's in here. Okay, alright, so we have a few things. Cleaver. E. So I'm... Okay, yeah, sure, it gives two block. But in this case, I'm more interested in the damage boost it's, it, it could give. So let's see if we could work that in. Somehow. We put this here, it's boosting all three of those. Then if we put this here, it's boosting all four of them. But now we're really off the spikes. We can take a key with us easily. Are any of these uncommon? No. That's uncommon, but it's taking a huge amount of space. 
let's just take those with us. The rest are gone. So, sorry, man. You gave us some, uh, I think your name is Matthew. Thanks for the, the stuff, Matthew, but we're done with it. So we can either pick a chest on either side, a little bit of gold, a little bit of health. I think we're okay health-wise, so we're going to go this side. This is rare, so it's wor it's more worth... Uh, there's two spaces. Do I need two keys? Not yet. Okay. So really quick. Reads adjacent or added... Adjacent or diagonal structure, plus two damage. On use deals five. With this, that would deal seven damage for one energy and five spaces. That feels really bad. Uh, <laughs> so we're not going to do it. I don't think we're going to have space for arrows. This deals eight damage right now. Next to that plate, that breastplate, this deals ten. And as we adds weak to the enemy. That could be useful, especially towards the end of the boss battle. Even if it's glitching, she's going to be weakened incredibly. So, I think we're running with that. I like that extra energy and the luck. So, you know what? Let's get rid of that. Hold on to this for later. In that case, we can hold on to the extra key. Okay, well, we keep evolving our build, which is what the first area is about, right? And then after that, you build on it. You build on your build. On scratch, scratch once more. Scratch deals three damage, so this would be six damage each time we scratch. And if we had more stuff with it, it would do even better. Now, this is interesting. For 10 monies. So right now this deals 4 damage each turn. We put this in here, and we re reshift things a little bit, but not much. Then we could uh, add 4 damage to that, so it's already boosting one machete with this. Eliminates the need for the other machete. And adds to this. I don't see how that would be anything but a yes. Now, right, it would be right here. So now that deals 8, and that deals 14. Yeah, much better. We don't need this one, do we? No. requires mana to be used, so no. But these, yes. Yeah, we'll sell it to him. And open pouch. We're selling that. Now, let's see. No matter what, we're not going to have a space that's two spaces wide. So let's just pull this one out. And I don't think we'll, need, we'll have any issues with that one yet. But hey, doesn't hurt to be prepared. Okay. Let's start with both of these. Beautiful. He's down to one. That's hilarious. Smack him. And then smack him. Good. Yep. Now I am building straight out on those sides because I'm hopeful that we get um, those gauntlets. Uh, one on either side. You never know. Now this seems nice.
Won't matter which side it's on. Okay. But we could put this like that and it still gets boosted by both of these. Now there's space right here. Now that can activate twice in a turn. Vampiric, on you steals two damage. So this is dealing eight damage to all enemies, which is great. That's eight tall enemies, whereas this is six vampiric. So. I do want to keep this. That's great luck. So if we're going to keep this, let's keep it in the pouch for a minute. Adds great luck and some regen, so we'll heal and get great luck. I love that idea. This will now trigger twice in a battle, which is good. And actually, we can do this. There we go. On use, which means which costs one mana and one energy. So this is going to activate only once this next battle, so we can get that to start consuming things and be better and better. Okay. Excellent. Alright. If we start with this, then it means that that won't trigger again and cause issues there, but that would be 16 block. Yeah, I think we'll still be okay. Let's do that. Go ahead and block. We're actually right at the max, or what they're going to deal to us. Okay, good. Beautiful, in fact. He's going to steal from us. I don't, I mean, I care, but I don't, right? We smack him, he just goes to adding himself some uh, dodge. Wait, dodgy. Okay. Oh, hey, look, an arrow. <laughs> I mean, it's cool. It's a cool arrow. Oh. Uh, yeah. And you didn't hear that. <laughs> I walked right into that one. Anyway, it's a very cool one. Uh, Liquid Luck adds great luck and is destroyed, sure. Why not? We don't have any extra mana stones to put next to this one, so we'll take it. This will add luck. Now we have room for two space item up to a two space, but these are all common, so I say we're not going to worry about it. You know, I really think even if this is only going off once or twice a battle, it may be more worthwhile than this one. Because this one, yes, it's dealing damage, and that's great, but its main attraction is also the fact that it deals damage and adds weak. Whereas this is just dealing pure damage and won't trigger things like spikes. So, we should be boosting it. All right. Let's see what this event is. Do you smell treasure nearby? Is there anything we want you to get for us? I don't think so. Green snails. That's a lot of luck. Now, if we just focus this guy down, we go bloop. We take two damage, which we are blocking anyway. We do this, and we don't have to worry about the gunky goo. We could do this because we have the energy and nothing else to spend it on. All of that to give us... Okay. Uh, we'll take it. We'll put it in here. We'll see. 
Creates a blessing, adds four regent. I mean, sure. This was, he's, oh, our treasure seeker, that's right. Okay, three damage to a weapon. Or one rage to a melee weapon. Let's see. That would only activate once. Not so great. We use this. Then if we use it twice in a turn, we start adding up that rage. Could be good. Adding two spikes to a shield is interesting, but we've kind of stepped away from the spikes. Three damage to a weapon. I think I want to hold out for burns. I still think I want to burn. Burn my enemies. Okay, so that's a total of seven damage that they're going to try to hit us with. Three burn, three poison, three freeze. If we do this to him, then he's just going to die to all that and we don't have to worry about him anymore. He's just adding regen to himself, so this guy is more... Well, then again, this guy's one swing and he's gone. But boom. Now if we swing here, good, because then he's only going to deal one damage. Oh, goodbye. Okay, I'm going to put that there. We are going to consume it. Make that even better. Right now this is adding eight block, right? This adds four. But... Oh, one more. Technically, we could do that and still have this. Yeah. That's for sale. We need two keys. Do we need this potion? I don't know. Yeah, I think that's good. Sure, why not? Let's find out. So he's up to six damage. He's going to deal 14 damage now. Nope, still six. Somehow that didn't count. Oh, because I was targeting him. If I had been targeting him, maybe different. I don't know. What I do know is if we swing in on him with the weak, then we should be fine. Yep. Let's give him some poison to think about, too. All of them. I want my money back, guys. Thank you. <laughs> So right now he's dealing 10 damage. Oh, just kidding, he's dealing 6 damage. Oh, just kidding, he's dead. <laughs> oh, and I forgot to absorb that. Oh well. I mean, extra max HP isn't terrible. Removing poison from oneself is good. I like the Lucky Rings better, though. However, that is a rare item that we could sell. I'm gonna put it over here, I guess. I don't see any rare items. So, we'll take this for now, I guess. Whatever. Treasure Hunter. Let's go sell 
things that we have for sale. That's rare, and that's rare. We won't take more. Pretty sure I sold a common item to him, too, so that's a little... feels a little bad, but oh well. We're building up for a good blacksmith. You know what? Let's do it. Let's give him this mana stone. Oh, oh. Let's put it through there, just because I... I'd rather... yeah. Still, that was nice. Thank you, Mr. Capybara. Hello, Senor Rude Rooster. We have some things for you. Okay, first, do that. Then we also have this. Then, we have a smack you and make you deal zero damage now. Then we have... use this. Interesting. Oh, that is interesting. Hmm. Okay. I didn't realize the exact, uh... Dynamic there. I thought it had. I thought this was just consuming them. And while it is, it's anything next to it is destroyed. So that's why they included that one. Yeah, we've got this guy under complete control. Doesn't matter how many times we hit him, he's not going to have more rage than weak. You end your turn with zero block, adds one energy. In order to do that, we'd have to get rid of this and this. Could could work. That could work. And that could be good too. I think I'd rather the loot box, honestly. So we put this one here, that one there, and we have a slightly better option. Yeah, let's look in here first. Each turn adds one energy, when combat ends it's destroyed. It's gonna disable this for one, one uh, turn. Conductive. On use, adds three poison to all enemies and adds two mana. Okay. Yeah, I mean, yes. Are we good with that being at five? I think so. We could actually technically just sell that one, but it's conductive too, so we could have this one be the one that eats more. That's true. That's true. Put recovery items over there. Or down bottom half, whatever. <laughs> uh, you know what? This is rare. It's worth selling. That's just common. We're gonna do it this way. Hey, parcel. What do I want to send home with you? Probably not a whole lot. Oh, okay. Well... Those are just in cases, as is that. We're selling that. So yeah, I'm actually not sending anything home with you, bud. Healer lady. Let's get some max health. And then continue on to the right side, which is Deep Cave. 
Okay, we can do that. Oh, we can do that indeed. Or indeed we can. All right, what does this forge have for us? Fire, fire, no fire. One energy to clothing. Seems really good. Clothing, right? This would be locking us into that. Not the worst thing. That's not clothing, yeah. So the question is, is this for sure? the thing we want, right? I mean, it's adding one damage to each of these, which is it's not bad. It's a good thing. Still want to think about it for a minute. Focus on him first, I think. For one energy, we add poison to all enemies and add mana back into all this. Right now we're taking 9 damage that we didn't want to take. And now we're not. I mean, in this case, yeah, we are adding poison because it doesn't matter. 14 damage headed our way. Now it's 11. Now it's 8. So it's blocked. Taking poison, though. However, if we hold on to it, then I'd be. If we. Okay, okay, so here's the deal. I would be happy to get rid of this if we get that vampiric axe. Put it here, pull this out instead of that. We use that axe or halberd or whatever that's called, add a bunch of poison to ourselves and vampiric damage, and then we go bloop and goodbye. Poison. Rather this than that. No space in here. Don't really need any of these comparatively. I don't even know that we need these realistically. This is at five and all we have to do is pop this every once in a while to add two mana back into that and poison to the enemy. So realistically, this is a sale item at this point. So I'll take this instead. Yeah. Okay. I do want the the loot, but uh, yeah. <laughs> Now it's 14. Much more manageable. Do this once and we're we're there. Oh, I guess I could have uh No, it still wouldn't have been enough. Okay. So then we do this. That it refreshes our mana and adds poison to all of our enemies. Doing this will deal damage to all of them, but not kill any of them. And I should have waited for the loot box gave us. Oh well. I got over 
overzealous, overexcited. We just do that, and we're good. I want to wait on that one. We're going to smack this one. Then we can smack both of them with this. And if I do this, we just deal damage and he can't deal enough to stop us. Uh, uh. Do we need this? No. We don't need this either. It can only be played on an item. Yeah, we're not destroying any of our items. No, thank you. Those are the same, so who cares? Batchy Buckler's good if you're running things like, say, arrows or something that you're, you're only focusing one weapon. I'm not doing that, so it's not great for us. I don't want this. Yeah, we'll wait on those. I want to get a little more experience before we just go around opening boxes, so we'll wait. Fighting the lizard dude. Hey, what are you offering? More damage to a weapon. It's Jason or diagonal to armor or a shield is disabled. Okay. What mana each turn to a ring? Okay. Free block and float to a shield, or ghostly and burn to a weapon. Now, if we add ghostly to this, it doesn't really matter if we put it, just bury it in the corner. Right? But this is helping it right now. As much as I want the burn, I don't know that that's helpful. I don't know, I kind of feel like uh, this would still... You know what, let's experiment. I think... It, this will still count the... Nope, it won't. Okay. I was hoping that it would count this, it just wouldn't count other things, but... Uh, oh, oh well. We're not getting rid of it, we're still going to use it. It's there now more to add burn than, than to kill enemies. And that's okay. Now this is just going to go up and get more damage to it. It was an experiment. It was worth trying. And uh, yeah, so we ran into an issue with it. You want to give me something else, man? No? You're just going to leave us now? Buy a book. You know what? Let's do it. What's this, this book you can give us? Adds one mana, adjacent and diagonal weapons get plus two damage this combat. I mean, technically this can go here and still be fine, right? But, the book, it's legendary, so yeah, it's great, but it's also not. This would be great with a bunch of shivs or something. We'll hold on to it for now. And uh, for now, it may not last very long because we have this guy here. Alright, Fire Staff. On use, adds two burn and adds three mana. Whereas this adds three poison and two mana. That costs a lot of our money. None of these are better. Now, technically, this one, if 
if we put it in here, it would be used to boost this, right? Uh, so for example, we put this here. Now it could boost this. And if we were to say, boost, let's say, I don't know, four times, then use this once, we could still use this only once in, a, in that first turn, but it deals significantly more damage. I'm trying to think, if we move this down... I mean, the only way we know for sure... Yeah, then, it, then that's not gonna boost this. take it for now. Uh, yeah. Swing for free. Now. We use this. One, two. Oh, it only gets to go once per... There we go. Once per turn. He wants to deal 18 damage to us. Unused, this adds 8 block, which puts us up to 14. If we swing with this, he gets three weak, which puts him down to 15. We would take one damage. I'm okay with that. Let's start building the weak on him. I mean, technically we could do it again. I'm dealing 12, so therefore dealing six to us, but no. I think we're better off taking only one and just add some poison to him. Now he has some spikes. I don't want to deal physical damage to him without some block. I mean, technically, I could just block once. We're at 14, right? Then I could add six poison to him. Or I could block again giving us 8 block, and able to swing with both of these ones. Now all his damage is blocked. We've uh, brought him farther down. That feels a lot better. Yep. Much better. So this is ghostly, so it really doesn't matter. Huh. I don't know, I'll start building this out, I guess. Each turn adds two block and adds two mana to the connected network. I mean, sure. They're really trying to give us a lot of magic and stuff. Not a bad thing, it's just uh
trying to think. Oops. Let's pretend we didn't have this. Okay? Then it wasn't a thing. But technically, we could let that boost both of those, right? We'd have to move things around a little bit for that. That was obviously the wrong way to try to put it in. Let's change it to three block instead of four. So that's only three block, right? But this in here, it's two instead of three, and it boosts this one's damage again. Yeah. Could be all right. Another mana stone really doesn't matter, unless we're trying to try to consume it. But now it really, really doesn't matter because this would be adding to it, and it it's never going to run dry even if we don't activate this. Keeping this just means uh, we have more options for that last battle if it starts glitching out, because then we can add poison as well as burn. Okay, this is not boosting that. Theoretically, or not theoretically, technically I could put it here and it would boost. Now this would boost both of them. This is only damaging once per turn. So I think I like this better, for now. Later we may have a better, better option. I mean, yeah, let's, let's, let's keep going. All right. I should've done that first. Good job. That's two energy and then it's destroyed. Oh, and because something was destroyed, we got a thing. So that's disabled for one turn. Which means our extra energy should be given to us the next turn. Yeah, okay. Sure. <laughs> so that's a total of 10, 17, 23. I blocked up our shield with this. Uh, you know what? Oh, well then. Okay, now we're blocking all of it. Means we'll add 
poison to everybody instead of an extra block. I want to get rid of this guy because I want the luck and the tiny bit of experience. This guy needs to take some damage first. Now that one dies to poison. Well, he's poison six, so he's not going to do anything. We bash this guy. Now he's doing nothing. We bash this guy. He's dead. So he's also doing nothing. Okay. Sure. I didn't realize that was a that was a thing. <laughs> so better than this is this. Not yeah, really sad I gave that ghostly because I could have put it right here. It would be getting boosted by that. Mm -hmm. Oh well. Lesson learned. I, you know, just lesson learned. We'll move on with life. Each combat adds four poison to self, then when attacked adds four, po four poison to, or five poison to the enemy. Let's put that in here with this. Move this one out over to here. Because now, oh look, each combat adds four poison to self. That's four damage, that's not bad. We could use this also to remove it and get four block. That's, you know, whatever. Meh. This is two damage. We could have it to where we add seven to that, now it's nine damage, so nine vampiric. this. It's more I'm trying to put stuff that we're gonna that we could uh, end up selling over on this side and stuff we could theoretically end up using on this side. So maybe it does matter then. Okay. We could take a throwing star but it's not gonna do us any good. No, we couldn't because, um, yeah. Okay. Then it doesn't really matter. Okay. We'll leave that stuff behind and move on. At this point, we're only down one HP, but it's, it's something, I guess. And we already looked at your stuff. And that was the vision of dangers. Let's go to this chest then. Uh huh. Uh huh. A new steals seven damage and adds two poison. Yeah, okay. Oh, hey, look. For free, there's a fire staff. Sale items. Maybe keep, maybe use. Is this rare? No, it's common. Alright, well, cool. 
Let's do it that way then. Hop over here, make a sail. Yeah, I'd say we've got the Moonies. Now, I don't think you had what we wanted, but we're just going to make sure before we leave this floor. You do have add energy to the clothing, which, yes. Does this have another one? Yes, it does. Add another energy to that clothing. <laughs> and if we keep this, we might as well add energy to it, right? I think so. It still went up three energy per turn. <laughs> yes, thank you. You were helpful. So, uh, yeah. Let's head down. So, what do you have for sale? You have the Flame Axe, which heals four damage and four burn to an enemy. I like that. I love the weak, though. We're gonna wait. Plus one poison, minus one damage. Yeah, that's, that's okay. We're gonna wait. Should've waited to open this. Something really good or a horrible curse. Pull both of these into here. Shift that over. Put that there. Let's grab those for now. The likelihood we use them is not high. Okay, this is interesting to me. Huh. Oh, yay. Uh, no, I don't need an extra one of those. Thank you, though. Alright, see, now he's attacking, but if I do this at the end, he'll just block. So. As it stands, that's 22. It's 30 that we need to block. So, save 3 energy. Save 3 energy. Well... we do that, we don't have to use three energy on block. We're now at 19 because we do this once. He dies at the end of his turn. So that's 19 is 24. Still will be more block. Um, this is going to cost three now, isn't it? Yeah. That's too expensive for me to justify. Now we're at 16 damage incoming. So let's do this once more. Then... Oh, well, I should have done that again. Never mind. Whatever. Okay. Uh, do I really want this? I mean, it could give us some awesomeness. Sure. It could give us Awesomeness, and it could give us uh, nothing good. Let's see what it gives us. Opens two spaces away, plus three damage. Adjacent shields get plus three block. I mean, if we do this, they get the damage. So, sure. I don't care about the Spade Cleaver. Okay. This is at one energy. So now he's gone. One energy. One energy. And now he's doing nothing to us. Wah, ah, ah. I mean, sure, but no. Okay, if I do this now, I use up all my energy, so not good. There we 
go. Swing with this. Swing twice. Good luck. Get some poison. Now we just swing. Yeah, I don't need that. I don't need that either. Can take that. I think we're gonna do much with that. Okay. Nope, don't need that item. Okay, so right now he's gonna. This guy's gonna swing in for nine. This guy's gonna add a dodge. This guy's gonna steal our money. If we do this, we add some block. If we instead swing in on this guy, Three times we take zero damage. So now it doesn't matter. Let's just give some poison to everyone. Okay. He wants to deal six. It's not great, but you know, it's a thing. We do that, the thief is gone. Now that guy's doing nothing. Swing in twice here, he's dead. And then we just only have to swing in because who cares? Okay. Each turn refills mana. Well, this is refilling our mana too, so we don't need that, but we could sell it. Saving some stuff to throw, and we just keep getting more stuff to throw. So, yeah. Sure, let's take a spin. Spin fall free. <laughs> uh, yeah, that's... I don't know. I've never really made good use of those. Here we go. Burn to a weapon. Okay. So... This has one. This has one. That's done. We only have enough money for one of them right now. So I think... This is the one that we're consistently using. I mean, yeah, we're using this too, don't get me wrong, right? But this is the one that we're all in on. So we're putting the burn on that. The first burn, anyway. we do this, two of them are gone. Just like that. Swing twice. Yeah, see, that's specifically for vampirism, so that's 17 damage incoming, regardless. That's not enough to kill him. So let's block all the vampirism. And then uh, poison the guy. A little bit. Yeah, now he's just gonna die. <laughs> oh, so silly. I still can't believe we got double pouches. That was hilarious. Eight damage is now five damage. So now we can focus on these guys. Uh, you know what? We're just gonna do it. We've gotta use our stuff because we have a bunch sitting here. We're probably gonna get more from this. And right now we're taking zero damage, so we're just gonna swing in. Now both of those guys are going to be dead. Okay. All 
All right, so this would add one less block, but we could put it over here and let this get a little more um, block on its own. Oh yeah, we totally take the hatchet. Mm, no. Let's go ahead and do this. Take this. Put these over. <laughs> I take that. Then open this. Pull stuff out so we can start using some of them. Do we have stuff for sale that's legendary and rare and whatnot? We have one, two, three items for sale versus use. This one has some maybe we use it later stuff. Alright, so specifically three sale items tells us we ought to uh, hop over to this guy and sell them. Oh look, uh, the one that killed us before. We're not going to use that. <laughs> not at all. That's cool, but we don't know. We're not. Uh, we're not using that setup right now. Oh, I guess I should have uh, not made it to where I got some burn on this. Oh well. Nope, don't want that. We could swing once more and then hit block. And take zero damage and have a lot of weak on that guy. Not to mention some decent burn. He's dead on his turn, so now we focus this one. think about it. Did we need to add block or just add the weak? We added the weak because we're generating five block. So, yeah. Goodbye, dude. All right, so this one's lucky. Creates ethereal energy in this column for three mana. Yeah. No. I'll take damage, add seven spikes to self. See, we could have gone that full spike thing and made it really, really devastating to the enemy. But uh, it would have taken till now to start really building that up, I think. I don't... I don't know. However, we have a legendary item for sale. A rare item for sale. Sure. Let's go see if this guy has any more we can sell to him. I'm pretty sure we sold some stuff to him before. Okay, I guess we hadn't. Four damage and four burn. No, I think this is better. All right, what was this one? Because this was the uh, armor finder. Nope, that was the treasure finder. Okay, what's this guy? Oh, he's the spin. Yeah, we already got your free spin. Two burn to a weapon. That one's been done. That one's been done. So now it's on this one. Now he doesn't have anything else for us. Okay. I like that this guy brings in friends, but this guy's actively trying to goop us. So. 
that's funny. Yes, sir. -y. All right. Swing. Now that thing dies on its turn. Yeah. Now all he's going to do is add a dodge to himself. Thinks he's cool, but he's not. Okay, we're gonna throw everything away and go scratch. I don't think so, but we are gonna take it to sell. Put the key up in here. So here's the thing, this deals three poison and three damage, right? I put a shiv up here and it's gonna deal six damage, actually. But this right here, it now deals nine damage for free every turn. That's much better than having one throwaway weapon there. Yeah, okay. Let's see. I mean, we could just use those. Now this is empty except for one sale item. So let's grab this. Let's go sell that one last item to this guy. Beautiful. All right, let's head down. Free damage. <laughs> Always. Now, technically we do this, we took some damage, we don't want that. When we do this on our next turn, we'll get a free item from it, so let's wait. Uh, so 16, huh? Do you think you can deal 16 damage to us? I don't. So now, you'll deal 2 damage to us, which, I mean, this will erase. So I'm actually going to add to your voice instead of blocking. Boom. Oh. Ah, well. Yeah, now you want to deal 26, which isn't awesome, right? But... Now we're blocking it, so... Yeah. Each turn for each energy removes one and adds three mana to the connected mana network. That's bad for us with our current build. This one is shifting everything around. No thank you. All ones get this effect applied on use plus one mana. Yeah, see, none of these are good for us. I'm not taking any of them. I guess... I guess we could take something and give it to Parcel. Hello, friend. Take this away. Take this away. Good enough for me. Hey lady, let's get some max health. Frozen heart. And I think that's where we're going to stop for today. Let's remember when we start that uh, health, which we're probably not going to need, is right here with a timer. And the experience, which, I mean, sure, why not, also has a timer. So we need to we need to remember that those have timers. Are we going to remember? Who knows? We're going to try. Uh, until next time, good luck. 
Have fun and have a great day.